Hey, good morning, everybody. Um, I'm at the Normandy beaches. I'm actually closer to Gold Beach. My hotel's right here. It's about 6.30 in the morning. About the same time um, the landing started. Obviously, the invasion of it took place. But, you know, it also involved airborne troops and bombing. But I woke up to videotape this and it's raining just a little bit but there's thunder and lightning which kind of adds to the effect you know what it must have been like when the when the artillery shells were going off it's really quite an amazing morning to be out here doing this i'm going to pause it for now and get closer to the sand I just want to show you really quick the um, that house up there where the lights on that's my room where I stayed at this is where I ate last night very good restaurant Wow look at that lightning and then the beach is right in front of me there although it is raining it's not I got my little cheap umbrella I bought in Italy still with me I lost one of my other umbrellas but although it's raining it's not cold I do have my rain jacket on and I got my little umbrella it's not raining hard but when I flip the camera around again you're gonna see some structures out in the water that was oh here's one of the here's one of the gun emplacements I just came across I didn't even know that was out here this is one of the German gun emplacements let's see what it looks like from the front Wow I'm walking on the sand. And, whoa, shoot! What was that? What in the world? I just walked over a bunch of seaweed. Almost fell on my butt. Maybe that's part of the Atlantic Wall. But what you see way out there, the wind's picking up. Let me get against this wall. What you see way out there uh, are um, after the invasion. Well, the main waves coming through. If I can do this in the rain, I'm dropping everything. This is not good. Ah! Come on, quap weight. And there goes my umbrella. Nice. Um, what you can see there out in the water, if you can, are like these, these makeshift, makeshift docks and piers they put out there. I'll do a better shot of it during the day. I just wanted to get out here to get the feel. I gotta get my umbrella getting soaked. I just wanted to get out here to get the feel of uh, what it would have been like that morning. Oh, with the, on the German perspective. Oh man! After uh, I did that last video session, I'm in the German gun emplacement. I did slip and I landed on my butt. I got all sandy. But I'm back in that German gun emplacement. It's dark. Jeez, I can't see anything. The lightning. You can see the lightning from here. You see the beaches. Yeah, so when the when the lightning hits, you can kind of see. Let me turn around and see if you can see. Nope, it's totally dark in this gun emplacement. But I'm out of the wind and rain. It got really windy when I was down there. But the beaches are right in front of me. And then you can see the horizon. There's, oh, there's those those structures. They're not boats. They're, they're, I forgot what they're made out of. They might have been some kind of buoyant objects, but they were a stretch of what were like piers for the, um, uh, the, the ships that were coming in later on. Let me go back in the emplacement. So yeah, that, I'm in this German gun emplacement staying dry, but the lightning is kind of giving it a cool effect as if, you know, at this hour in the morning. Well, I kind of take that back. When they were landing on the beaches, the shelling actually stopped from the naval ships, so the guys could actually advance on the beaches, otherwise the Navy would have been barding their own men. Um, so that, that would have actually stopped, but I'm, at this hour in the morning, well, obviously it was June 6th, it's August 22nd or 23rd right now, uh, and there goes my umbrella. This is a trip, this is a trip being in this gun emplacement with that thunder and lightning going on. Obviously it's nothing compared to what the shelling and the artillery fire would have been like, but, um, 
and I, I wish it wasn't windy and rainy, but this is what I got to deal with. But th thank goodness this emplacement here is keeping me dry. Uh, wow, it's really, and now it's really pouring. Ah, oh, man. I, you know, I, I was going to do this regardless. At this point, I'm thinking maybe not such a good idea. But when am I going to be on the beaches of Normandy? I'm on, I'm actually at Gold Beach, where the British came in, British or Canadians. I'm actually at Gold Beach. Um, Omaha and Utah are down that direction. That might be Point de Hoc that you see jetting out. I, I'm not exactly sure. That's where the Rangers um, scaled it with the ropes. I, I'm not sure. I have a really good detail. I have two maps of Normandy. I have a, a recent map. And then I have a World War II battle map that shows all where everything was at. So um, let me conclude this section for now. You kind of get an idea where I'm at and what I'm doing. I'm happy to be here. I'm going to wait till the rain dies down before I try to get back to my room. Bye. I don't know if you guys can see me much, but it's really dumping now. Um, I hope the I think my hotel is right there, though. My bed, my bed and breakfast is like right there. So um, yeah, yeah. So I don't have far to go, but it, it is it is dumping. The sun's coming up. Still a lot of uh, thunder and lightning. Um, like I said, I think I might be point to hawk. I'm not sure. Um, I'm gonna go there today. You know, I'm not coming. I got I think another full day out here. So. Uh, Thank goodness, this, I don't see any gun emplacements other than this one, it's really close, so I'm glad I was able to shelter in here for now. This is Gold Beach, it's still raining. It's about 7 a.m. That's where I hid out for a while. And the gun emplacement right there. The rain lightened up. I'm gonna head back to the room now. Now that it's lighter, you can see those barges of that temporary, um, I forgot the dock, bay, um, whatever they did. So I'm still in my room in Aramach, France, Normandy. Um, I'm going to show you around the room a little bit, and I'm going to show you some maps I've been looking at. But I really, really like this room. Uh, it does not have an air conditioner, does not have... A mini fridge which I always prefer but um, I do like the location check this out so this is coming into the room got this got this huge bed it's very comfortable there's some maps I'm going to discuss in a little bit but just so you know this is the window looking out and so this that's Port Winston which was I was describing earlier and let me show you the view from here so that is, that's the restaurant I ate at last night. Very good. That gun emplacement I was at this morning is on the other side of that house. That's Port Winston. All those things out in the water. Like I said, they were floated here and then like, you know, sunk to make a port. It was somewhat squared shaped to be like tide breaks. But, you know, for it being so long ago, a lot of it's still here. Let me see how good I can zoom in. And there's the beach. So, ah, sorry. So then you come in here and I had my own bathroom. I don't think every room in the structure has its own bathroom, but I did. I had my own bathroom, good size shower too. Obviously all this stuff was retrofitted to make it a B&B, &B. but I was very comfortable here. I liked it a lot. So let me show you where I'm at. I got two maps laid on top of each other right here and a really cool book I've been referring to come out here so this bottom map this is a, a Michelin map of current time the top one is a rendition of the invasion so this inset shows the invasion um, there's where I'm at right now and Gold Beach is right in that vicinity Port Winston's right here so what I'm going to do see how it shows those um, barges or whatever that was the original configuration those what i just showed you 
I'm, I'm right, probably right where my fingernail is, and that might be that gun emplacement I was at earlier this morning. I am gonna go to the US side, so here's Omaha. So I'm gonna go check this out. I'm gonna go to the US Cemetery. I'm gonna check out Point de Hawk, where the Army Ranger scaled, and then move over to Utah Beach, which I, at least I know my Uncle Tony, and from Uncle Mike was at Utah. I don't know if they're at separate beaches or not, but um, I'm gonna go to both. And then I have my hotel tonight is in St. Mary, right here. This one here, St. Mary Anglis, where the paratroopers dropped in at. You might have remembered that from um, Band of Brothers. Band of Brothers would have been the Airborne unit, and Saving Private Ryan would have been the um, infantry, the Rangers actually, coming in here. So, this is a really good map for reference because it just hits hard. But this one does also mention some of the beaches. Not as in detail. So, here's gold. There's gold. This is the vicinity where I'm at right now. And then I'm moving, I'm moving this direction today. So both these maps have been very insightful, very helpful, and so has that book. All right, I gotta get out there shortly, bye. So before I leave the hotel, oh by the way, there's a little, little Fiat I'm driving. It's a really nice little car. I'm at the balcony, but I wanted to give you, um, that's not Point to Hawk, by the way. I said earlier, that is not. I'm way far from it, but, um, Anyways, this is Port Winston. This is a really cool little bed and breakfast to stay at. If I would have known better, I would have stayed here for the whole time and just used this as a base camp type of thing. Cause I'm here for three, for two more full days. And I just would have used this place cause it's just so nice and relaxing. It's got a great restaurant. But those are those barricades. This is how close I was to it. I don't know how interesting all you find this, but I, I find it quite interesting that these were put in place, you know, right after the the Allies landed. I mean, when I say right after, I, don't, I don't, don't know. I honestly don't know how many hours, days, or maybe a week or two went by. I don't know. But uh, it's kind of interesting to see some remnants of what they um, were, were accomplishing here. All right, so I better get tracking. Bye.